Right, I'm climbing up this little track. It's a National Trust one. Look at these lovely plants. Look nice and fresh and protected in here, don't they? Now it's one of these sort of places I found loads of old bottles once when I was up here. Um, real old bottles, you know, ones that usually have the glass ball bearing inside as a stopper. It does look used, but I don't know if many people know of it. Most people come across it like I did. Um, this path. I thought I just might do something. I'll probably take my coat off in a minute because I think it's going to get hot. Yeah, so what I'm going to do today is uh, oh, look, some sort of. I reckon there's some sort of building under here. It's like a funnel there. Look. Some sort of secret building. Another little flower, look. Looks nice and healthy. This is just a little path that meanders up through. Will take you up onto the top of Breen Down. I'm not doing the whole Breen Down. What I'm going to do is just a little bit of it. And then come down. I'm not really going to do a lot. Take some pictures when I'm at the top. It's easier going up and down, by the way, believe it or not, even though it affects the breathing. And look out for bottles. <sighs> look at this lovely long grass. Probably full of ticks, by the way. As well. We have to be aware of ticks. Oh, very narrow path. Very narrow and steep. Oh my god, it levels off in a minute. If you can get off, everyone holds on to the stick probably. It helps you up. That's made just for you to hold on to, she a handle. Everyone's held, everybody holds on to that, don't they? A little bunch of daisies there. Oh, oh we're nearly there. We'll be on a more level area in a minute, but look out for glass bottles. Um, they probably go back to the First World War. The soldiers billeted up here, and they might have had. There might. Have, I think there was even a cafe up here once. People were like now we're more litter conscious, but I expect people just threw stuff into a hedge. Yeah, it levels out a bit now. So we've just sneaked up through there. Look, a little cant hook. Yeah, it's nice to do this. It's beautiful actually, isn't it? Beautiful, look, look at that weaving in and out. And then of course over there, we meet, we followed the river. The river acts a minute ago, right, right past that shed up there, right over to those buildings over there, where all the caravans are. We've, we weaved all the way along. Lovely walk, I mean, you might find more people do it in the afternoon. But there are there are those cows. There might be more cows. There were some sat down. Could be their part of that herd. I've got a feeling those cows could get up if they really wanted to. So, right. I'm just going to take a lovely picture of this beautiful view. Everyone, look at it. I'll just zoom in. What a lovely little walk this is. I'm just going to zoom out, and then I'm going to. Take a picture because it's so pretty. Right, I'm climbing up this little track. It's a National Trust one. Look at these lovely plants. 
but they're so fresh and protected in here, don't they? And there was one of these sort of places I found loads of old bottles once when I was up here. Um, real old bottles, you know, ones that usually have the glass ball bearing inside as a stopper. It does look used, but I don't know if many people know of it. Most people come across it like I did. Um, this path. I thought I just want to do something. I'll probably take my coat off in a minute because I think it's going to get hot. Yeah, so what I'm going to do today is uh, Oh, look, there's some sort of, I reckon there's some sort of building under here, it's like a funnel there, look. Some sort of secret building. Another little flower, look. Looks nice and healthy. This is just a little path that meanders up through. We'll take you up onto the top of Breen Down. I'm not doing the whole bring down. What I'm going to do is just a little bit of it and then come down. I'm not really going to do a lot. Take some pictures when I'm at the top. It's easier going up and down, by the way, believe it or not, even though it affects the breathing. And look out for bottles. Look at this lovely long grass. Probably full of ticks, by the way, as well. We have to be aware of ticks. Oh. Very narrow path. Very narrow and steep. Oh my god, it levels off in a minute. If you can get off, everyone holds on to the stick probably. It helps you up. There's that's made just for you to hold on to if you don't handle. Everyone's held, everybody holds on to that, don't they? A little bunch of daisies there. Nearly there, we'll be on a more level area in a minute, but look out for glass bottles. Um, they probably go back to the First World War. The soldiers built it up here, and they might have had, they might have, I think there was even a cafe up here once. People were like, now we're more litter conscious, but I expect people just threw stuff into a hedge. Yeah, it levels out a bit now. So we've just sneaked up through there, look. A little canned hook. Yeah, it's nice to do this. It's beautiful actually, isn't it? Beautiful, look, that weaving in and out. Then of course over there, we meet, we followed the river. The river axe a minute ago, right, right past that shed up there, right over to those buildings over there, where all the caravans are. We've, we weaved all the way along. Lovely walk. I mean, you might find more people do it in the afternoon. But there, is, there are those cows. There might be more cows. There were some sat down. Could be their part of that herd. I've got a feeling those cows could get up if they really wanted to. So, right, I'm just going to take a lovely picture of this beautiful view, everyone. Look at it. I'll just zoom in. What a lovely little walk this is. I'm just going to zoom out and then I'm going to take a picture because it's so pretty. Right, I'm not quite sure if the videos have turned out. I forget to press the button properly. That's quite a few. That happens so many times. Loads of videos don't turn out. I'm talking away and that's not even rolling.
people nervously passing them. Yeah, they've gone down low. So I'm just talking about the people passing the five cows. I was thinking of going back. Um, they've managed to pass the cows, people with dogs as well. And there's another, there's two people with a German Shepherd. They're hanging about by the gate at the moment, wondering whether they can get past. Because they're on top of the main high up track, you see the cows. And one, the one, the blonde one that was frightened by the, some people earlier, is the one that tends to follow. I was going to go back that way, but I changed my mind today. Um, it's open this route now until the 15th of July. So I can come out again. But I've enjoyed, I'm enjoying what I'm doing now, which is climbing styles, having a picnic. The weather's good. I've taken off my scarf and hat now. Um, I can hear lots of noise on the beach, that's why I'm not too keen to go back that way, but I'd have the same issue passing those cows again, so... Um, it would, it will, will put some people off. I mean, where, are they going to try with the German Shepherd, I wonder? Yeah, the first lot have gone by, by. Then you've got the ones with the German Shepherd, they're a little bit more hesitant, I think. Because you have got to be wary of cows. And they're moving on quite a bit. They're moving on quite a lot. But the ones with the German Shepherd are holding back. And it, you've got to be careful, people do get killed. Right, so here we are. I'm, in a minute I'll go down that way. I'm going to go down that way. I'm not doing the whole of the down, you see. I'm just going to go along here and around a bit, take some pictures of the beautiful um, cowslips that are down there. Look at them, beautiful. I'm just going to wander around that bit. It's beautiful, isn't it? This Western Supermare. I can even see the orange building at the start of the street where I live from here. It's, it's mild. It's mild now. It's very mild and there's a nice seat there. There's a nice seat there. But I'm going to wander along here. Come back. I might sit on that seat on the way back. I've just been a parallel path coming up from down below a minute ago. But quite often I don't even bother with this end, see? So today, because there's plenty of time, I've done it much faster than I thought I would. Um, roughly it only took two hours to walk it. And that was with taking photos. Now you do get cows here as well, by the way, hence the trough. But some beautiful flowers down there, I'll capture them on the way back. I'm gonna video on the way along. And uh, I think something's bit me on the side of the head already. <sighs> yeah, I just want to video this bit. Sorry if it's jumpy, everyone. It's very difficult to hold the camera still. Look at those bluebells. They've got a beautiful protected area because they don't like being in direct sunlight. And look at these. Look at these beautiful cowslips. They're gorgeous, they're protected. Um, there aren't many places you see them like this. The bluebells. I'll take pictures on the way back. I just want to hover along here. This is a good place to watch the red arrows, by the way. Let me just turn off for a bit. Just for a minute, there's too many photos I need to do. Right, I'm on the end of Breen Down, overlooking the little island and uphill. 
over there and then along there's the river which I came along earlier and which people are making their way along despite the cows risking it which I want to do but I'm a bit nervous I got away with it the first time My eyes aren't as sharp as they used to be. The cows are going down um, the other side now. They're going down onto some bog. But they could go back up again by the time you get there, couldn't they? I half want to go back that way. I'm going to walk on enjoying this at the moment. There's Weston. I live over there. Over that way. And here we've got a, a whole load of beautiful, beautiful cowslips. You don't find them very often anywhere, actually. This is the most I've ever seen for a long, long time. I can remember as a child, fields of cowslips uh, when we were small and uh, and then they all seem to disappear look at all these lovely bluebells as well no wild garlic you notice so I'm just sort of wandering around here it could be ticks I mean there's always a risk when you come out anywhere I, I rarely sit down anywhere to be quite honest, wear long grass or anything like that. Try and keep on a path if you can. Oh. Yeah, I'm glad I come out. I really am glad. Yesterday I stayed in and watched a coronation all day. It wasn't a nice day though, it was pouring with rain in London and it was grey and windy. It was a good day to stay in. Very good day to stay in. But uh, I, just need, I need to get out because my chest starts getting tight if I don't get out and don't rib, move the rib cage. Yeah, when I'm on the beach, you know, we see this brain down all the time living in Weston. I don't see it from where I live, but the river acts petering out there, but it's there. I'll just stay in the middle of the road. I think there is a lower path, but I won't do that one today. I don't want to take any risks at the moment. I find beaches a bit boring to walk along. Um, that's why I didn't want to walk a five mile stretch of it the other day. I thought I'd wait till the bus came. But I'll probably go up the beach today, just for today. And the next time I come over here, I'll do, uh, I'll do it the other way around, yeah. And I'll take a, a risk again with cows again. That's all I'll do. Right, everyone has to